Hello, it is the 11th of November and in this overview I will tell you what happened on the entire front line over the past day. Let's start with Kherson direction, where Ukrainian forces continue to conduct operations on the left bank of the Dnieper, concentrating their main efforts in the area of the settlement of Krynki. Here they tried to expand the bridgehead they held to the south and at first they managed to do it, but they couldn't gain a foothold in the seized positions and were forced to retreat under the fire of Russian artillery. In addition to Krynki, Ukrainian troops are still trying to break through to Poima, Pishanovka and Podstepnaya, but here Russian forces successfully hold the defense. Next, we are moving on to the Zaporozhye direction. Here, on the Arekhov sector of the front, Ukrainian troops continue to advance, although not at a very active pace. Over the past day, they have carried out several attacks in the area of Rabotina and Virbovaya, but all of them were repulsed. In the meantime, on the Velika Novoselka sector of the front, the initiative is in the hands of Russian forces. Over the past day, they have carried out several unsuccessful attacks near Staromayorske and Novodonetske. As for the sector of the front between the Dnieper and the Rehov, here a relative lull continues. Next, в углидар direction. Here the intensity of the fighting has decreased again. Over the past day, none of the parties has undertaken active attacks. Next, Marinka direction. Here Russian troops continue to conduct assault operations in the western part of the city itself, as well as in the area of Novomikhailovka, but over the past day, Ukrainian forces have again repulsed all the attacks and haven't allowed them to move forward. Next, Avdeevka direction. The hottest battles are going on here right now. To the north of the city, Russian troops, albeit slowly, are moving towards Tipavoye, gaining a foothold to the west of the railway track. Moreover, Russian sources claim that they have already entered this settlement, but this information hasn't been confirmed yet, so for now we will just take note of it. In turn, Ukrainian forces tried to counterattack north of Krasnogorovka, but having achieved nothing, they were forced to retreat. If we talk about the southern flank of Avdeevka, then Russian troops are also trying to advance here, although not as actively as in the north, and they haven't been able to advance over the past day. Next, Toretsk direction. Here positional battles continue, the intensity of which is quite low. Next, Bakhmut direction. Here Russian forces confidently hold the initiative and actively counterattack both to the north and south of the city. And over the past day, they have managed to take several Ukrainian positions in the area of the railway track north of Andreevka. Next, Seversk direction. Here, counterfighting continues in the forest area southwest of Kriminna, without any particular results for both sides. Next, Svatova direction. Here, Ukrainian troops again repulsed all Russian attacks in the area of Novoselovska and Novoigorovka. And finally, Kupensk direction. Here Russian forces tried to advance in the area of Sinkovka and Petropavlovka, but to no avail. That's all for today. I do my overviews honest and unbiased, so subscribe to the channel if it is important to you and have a good day.